Uh, that's a, an absolutely incredible game. Right? Uh, to have an incredible game means you have uh, great performances by both teams. And uh, Carolina was outstanding. I mean, I thought they were going to run us out of the gym. The crowd was great. And I don't know what's happened the whole year, but they were Carolina tonight, boy. Uh, they were fantastic. And uh, our guys weathered the storm a few times, and we, you know, the foul trouble, and we went small, and Trey Jones was magnificent, you know, in leading us. And uh, we we're fortunate they missed some free throws, and we made ours, and uh, Trey made some big time plays, and then uh, uh, Wendell obviously keeping that ball alive, and then getting the. The, the rebound for the offensive rebound was fan, you know, it was a big time play. So we feel very fortunate, uh, very obviously very happy, but uh, we're also uh, totally respect the level of game that this was and the level of our opponent. And um, I thought in the overtime, you know, we got that five point lead, and then Cole made two great plays. You know, to and it looked like it looked like we ran out of gas, and they went ahead. And then in the last minute of overtime, somehow we had this adrenaline push or whatever, and uh, led by our our captain, and uh, and we were able to win. So I'm proud of my guys. Uh, hellacious game, boy. Just uh, uh, just a, a terrific win for us, and. It, I know it's a tough defeat for them, but I'm telling you, they, I thought they played great. <laughs> I thought, not good, I thought they played great. And, and Cole, it's every, bit as, every bit as good as uh, everyone has said he is. Yeah, he, he was a big time player tonight. Any questions? What, what, what did you have to do when, when Vernon went out? What adjustment did all this? No, we, you know, we just decided we played a little zone, we went small. Uh, we thought, you know, we were having a tough time getting the ball into them anyway, so we opened up the court to drive more, and that worked for, you know, a little bit for us. Not a little bit, but a lot. And um, uh, because we were, like, winning a possession, everyone, you know, stopping them, getting one, and then they hit, and we were kind of cutting into the lead. But uh, uh, Cassius and uh, Wendell had to guard big guys. But they're, they're good athletes, and they did. But then those guys had to guard them. And it, it turned out to be uh, tit for tat, so to speak. And when they missed some free throws, then we were fortunate. You know, to, we didn't stop them, we, we, but they missed. So then that, you know, it, turned out, it turned out well for us. So the free throw at the end of regulation, do you practice that or do you trust Trey to make a play? We, you know, we talk about it, but he made a, not a good play. That was an amazing play. You know, that's one of those clinic things. You know? Like, uh, but you know, Luke, he, he was at another level tonight. I mean, we won because of that kid. And uh, so I think anything he did tonight might work. You know, and uh, uh, and he he was so good at timeouts. You know, we're trying to get him to talk more, and in his positive talk, and we're gonna win. We got this. This is our game. I count on me. And uh, the kids responded to him. You know, it was uh, a good. We've been talking about now. He learned it in, in combat, so to speak. On the battlefield. So. Anna Lively was Sports Illustrated huh? Kids. I'm sorry. Anna Lively was Sports Illustrated Kids. Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. How would you describe the atmosphere of this Duke UNC rivalry game versus previous ones you've played? I think pretty much the same. You know, the, uh, we're both blessed with amazing fan bases that support our teams in a crazy manner. And uh, this is. This is as tough a place for us to play in, and I would hope for them we're as tough a place for them to play in. And 
I think the fans and the and the locations are uh, two of the reasons why it's the most storied rivalry. You know, it's uh, there's a, a passion and emotion that, uh, that that their fans brought tonight. You know, we felt it the whole night. The last minute when you were spinning out. Were you calling in for Trey to make those runs? No, no, just whatever run. openings. And I know Cole had four, so he didn't, um, you know, we tried to attack him a little bit. So, you know, he didn't want him, they don't want him to file out. He didn't want to file out. And, but Trey made some big time buckets there. It's not like he's making layups. And, uh, but, you know, a, a really outstanding guard makes layups. <coughs> you know, and his, he practices that all, all the time. And uh, thank goodness, because he did it. Coach, given this environment, do you find your team and kind of just the game itself? How big was uh, was Trey as a floor general tonight? Yeah, Trey was magnificent. He's he his best game because uh, he not only scored and hit big buckets, but he his will and his passion permeated throughout our whole team and. It, it made us one and made us gave us a chance to hang in there and win. Coach, uh, how did the small ball line up towards the end of the game help you guys turn around? Uh, what was it? I mean, what else were we gonna do? You know, just, <laughs> what the hell? You know, it's not like it's. Uh, you know, I'm gonna try everything. So we we just tried it, and you know, Alex hit some big shots. Joey. Joey sure had one in and out. You know, uh, they uh, our uh, our perimeter was tough at at halftime. We got on our perimeter because we felt that their perimeter was was beating us. And even the first eight minutes of the second half, with I mean, they're bent, they're you know, Playtech, Pierce, Keeling, they had great games. They were they were beating us. You know, not just their their, their key guys. Not to belittle them, but you know the big guys and Cole, and uh, and then our perimeter just stepped up, and uh, just happened. For Mike, you know, um, I don't know. Last night was the fifth anniversary of Coach Smith's death. You know, I'm sorry, I didn't know that. So I, I mean, it didn't. I, I only bring it up in this yeah. in this regard. I mean, a lot of people walking out of that building today saying, "Wow, I mean, this is this is Carolina basketball." It, well, it was. So yeah. my question is, can you talk a little bit, very briefly, about how he helped you not build the same culture, but build a similar culture? Well, I think he, you know, one, we became really good friends. You know, it took a while. You know, but uh, uh, once we started winning at the level that he won all the time, I understood him. And he knew I understood him. And... You know, you don't break a sprint record or any record unless you're running with the best. And I think both of our programs have made each other better. He made our program better by us competing against him. And I'll be forever grateful to him. Uh, he was the guy who, when they're choosing the Olympic coach in the room, said Mike should Mike should have it and uh, I'm gonna start crying yeah, because okay I hate to make you cry I don't want no to. no but you know what I mean <laughs> it's a hell of a thing you know uh, as good as we are I'm not sure you know number of wins and all that we might have more but as a man we, we should all aspire to be who he was you know, as, as a man, and uh, I recognize that. And, you know, our, the other thing I recognize is the loyalty of his players, which we have now, too. We, you know, a lot of that stuff we've tried to emulate from what he, he did. And uh, and now we have two programs that do it. <laughs> and they both played tonight in a, in a magnificent game. Anything else for Coach? Coach, last year when I talked to you, I asked about how relaxed that team was. And it was partly because of the stars you said that you had on that team, obviously, three of them going to the top ten of the draft. Yeah. Each team has their own identity. And this season seems to be a little bit more tense. Do you think it has 
anything to do with maybe some of the things that have happened off the court with some of the passings of some great people in basketball history? No, I don't think that. You know, I think our, our guys are all, like, we had guys that were already stars. We, I'm not sure we have a star on our team, but we have a lot of guys who are, get, who are good. Some of them are going to be pros, but they're all getting better. And it's just a different team. I said at the beginning of the year it's going to be an old-fashioned team. Uh, and it, it, it is. It is. And uh, but uh, I'm proud of them. You know, again, uh, uh, thankful that we had Trey Chunks. <clears throat> you know, he was he was a stud tonight, man. He was uh, a big time guy. So, okay. All right, thanks Thank a lot. you.